Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out. Yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good. Fill my head full of every single doubt. Yeah. Please say any negative thoughts. I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong. I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud. Never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth. Can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, know what I'm about. Have your fucking cloud. If Twilight director recalls Robert Pattinson's makeover for role and why he turned down hair extensions. Director Catherine Hardwick looked back on 2008's Twilight for its 15th anniversary. John Kopoloff slash Film Magic Robert Pattinson attends the LA premiere of Twilight in November 2008. Robert Pattinson had a full makeover to transform for Twilight's Edward Cullen. In a new interview with Josh Horowitz for the Happy Sad Confused podcast, the director Catherine Hardwick reflected on making the 2008 movie on its 15th anniversary. She recalled how she had to work hard to sell Pattinson, 37, to the studio as the romantic lead. Though she said there was pretty much no contest between the actor and his counterparts because of his instant chemistry with Kristen Stewart, who had been cast as Bella Swan, a makeover was necessary for Pattinson. When he came over to my house he had black bangs, hair dyed black, kinda out of shape because he's hanging out at the pub all the time, Hardwick, now 68, recalled of her first impression of the star, related, Jennifer Lawrence recalls auditioning for Twilight, they turned me down immediately. Imprint Entertainment slash Maverick Films slash Summit Entertainment forward slash forward slash album slash Alami stock photo. Robert Pattinson as Edward Cullen and Kristen Stewart as Bella Swan in Twilight. She sent footage from his chemistry read with Stewart, 33, to the studio, and after Pattinson went to meet the team at Summit, she said they called her and expressed concern at her choice. They called me back and go, do you think you can make this guy look good, and I'm like, yeah, I do, did you see his cheekbones? Here's a photograph. We're doing a makeover on the hair, everything, we're doing everything. Makeover, he's gonna start working out, and he's gonna be gorgeous. But they didn't believe it at first, she recalled. I mean, he walked over there I think with a stained shirt. The makeover involved his hairstyle, the eyebrows, even the teeth, Hardwick added. He started working out and worked with a trainer. He put a lot of effort in, you know, beautiful effort into it. Related, Taylor Lautner says he grew out of his resentment toward Twilight fame, now I wouldn't change it. The Edward Cullen hairstyle was a particular source of conflict, the director said. She said she loved boys with long hair and had a vision of the vampire with long locks, but Pattinson was vehemently against it. We did hair extensions on him, she revealed of an early move to create Edward's look. He hated them. He's like, no. No. Do not torture me. The team was then playing around and came up with this great hairstyle that Pattinson ended up keeping throughout the four films. Hairdressers told me right and left that kids would walk into their salon, I need that hairstyle, Hardwick remembered. Vittorio Zunino Salato slash Getty. Kristen Stewart, Robert Pattinson, and director Catherine Hardwick attend the premiere of Twilight at the Rome International Film Festival in October 2008. Related, eight actors you totally forgot were in Twilight, Dakota Fanning, Anna Kendrick and more. When it came to casting Edward, Pattinson was a clear choice for the director, but that was mainly because of his instant chemistry with Stewart. Hardwick said she had her eyes set on the actress very early on. As soon as I saw Into the Wild, I'm like, I think she's it, she said. I was laser focused, like, I want her. Once she met Stewart, her decision was solidified. I thought, she's got it. The no bowls, she's never gonna overact, she's got that angst. She had everything, never miss a story, sign up for people's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what people has to offer from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. As for her and her co-stars dynamic together, Hardwick said it was clear from the beginning that they were meant to be Bella and Edward. Right when Rob came in there was pretty much no contest because the two of them felt that connection so strong, she said of their chemistry read, which included the scene where they officially meet in biology class. I don't think she felt it so strong with the others but you know it totally makes sense because they're both, like, so indie, indie music, indie authors, writers, films. I mean, they had all that stuff together, 